Hello again, and welcome back. So, I would like to apologize for this very gloomy and unkempt look that I am carrying today. That is because I'm super cold, and you would think that, like, apartments here in the north would be a little bit warmer, but it seems that this one is not. This dark look is also somehow directly related to the theme of this video. And I would like to say that despite looking this way, I'm actually feeling quite optimistic and hopeful today and these days in general. And that is because a couple of days ago, someone on Instagram who I didn't know contacted me to inform me that they'd seen my videos and this person wanted to share with me a treatment which they had been following. And this treatment is a treatment based on vitamin D. It is called the Coimbra treatment, developed by a Brazilian doctor, which apparently had made all his symptoms disappear, and later MRIs actually showed that all his lesions had disappeared as well. So, the reason also why I am like this is because I have done nothing but read articles about this treatment and watch videos and testimonials of patients who had been following this treatment and how well it had suited them. So, I have been buried down in this huge overload of information, but also getting very excited about about the possibility of joining this treatment or at least trying it out and seeing how it works out for me. Um, yeah, it seems like it's made a lot of people feel better and why wouldn't it make me feel better as well? What this treatment does is that you're given monstrous amounts of vitamin D to compensate for low levels of vitamin D in your body and these monstrous amounts are your body weight multiplied by 1000 and this will give you how many units, international units of vitamin D you will be taking. So in my case that I weigh 68 kilos, I multiply that by 1000. So I will be giving 68,000 international units of vitamin D on a daily basis. Of course, you might think that that is unhealthy, but if you follow this treatment, you will also be following a special diet in which you eliminate all dairy products to avoid a uh, calcium overload and you will be regularly controlled by a doctor who will supervise you so that should dispel the fear of vitamin d toxicity i assume see the thing is that i do definitely see a direct correlation between vitamin d light and my developing ms i grew up in very sunny places in rome then i went to la it is only later when i turned 20 that i came to denmark to the cold dark north that i started to show weird like weird symptoms like my body all of a sudden it felt like i became weaker and and then the weird symptoms started as well so i definitely see a correlation with the lack of light and the lack of vitamin D with my uh, developing MS. So the idea of this treatment makes a lot of sense to me and that is why it fills me with hope and and I have been considering uh, joining it and I got in touch with a doctor who is educated by this doctor in Brazil. Well, I should say that these doctors are not many. Uh, here in Europe, there are only some in Portugal, Spain and Italy and I think there is only one in the States. But yeah, I don't know. I'll see, I'll try it out. I mean, it makes so much sense to me because also feeling so much better during the summer, like feeling actually perfectly healthy during the summer and realizing how much worse I feel during the winter. I mean, last year it was madness. I had the genius idea of going to Iceland and I, I was, I was unable to do anything. I was just a slob dragging myself through the streets. And this winter here in Denmark as well, I can't say that it was much better either. So let's see. I will hopefully speak to this doctor soon, but most of all, I would like to hear if any of you have heard about this treatment, have heard of anyone who has heard about this treatment, and if you have any experience yourself with vitamin D, I am in no way recommending this treatment before I have tried it myself. So more than anything, I'm seeking counsel. 
with you guys, hoping to corroborate my hope. But also I will leave some links to the research that I've been doing myself on this treatment, videos and articles and interviews and all those things so you can start exploring it yourself and see what you think of it. If, see if you consider it legit in any way and perhaps we can start a discussion on this. So I wish you a happy reading and I hope you will find it fruitful and interesting and until next time, we'll see. But in any case, happy spring and I'll see you next time.